All right, folks, D here at Geekdom 101. Wanted to drop a quick video here on the news that came out late last night, uh, early this morning, depending on where you live in the world, uh, about Dragon Ball Super. Our friends over at Konzenshu, specifically Hujio, broke the story that King Ryu is now been named the series composer for the Shampa arc of Dragon Ball Super. Uh, this, of course, came from King Ryu's blog, which you see right here on your screen, where he announced that he was a series composer. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video is because it's just news, and I'm not really one to just make a video just breaking news. I mean, I've, I've done it before, but I won't do it for something like this. However, the reason why I wanted to make this video is to basically try to stop as much misinformation as possible in the sense of what this actually means because of the verbiage used. Script writer King Ryu named series composer for Shampa Arc. Now what that means, guys, is that King Ryu is essentially the showrunner. He is the head writer for the Shampa Arc of Dragon Ball Super. This does not mean he's replacing Sumitomo. Because when you think of the word composer, most of us think music composer, right? That's not what's happening here. What's happening here is that King Ryu, who was on the animation team, has been, I guess you can say, promoted to being the series show runner. And what that essentially means is that he is the guy in charge of taking Toriyama's manuscript, taking Toriyama's ideas, and putting them together and essentially being the, the head writer, delegating work to the other writers of what every episode will entail. Because Toriyama is not writing, and I've done other videos about this before, Toriyama is not writing all of the dialogue. Um, there is no Toriyama manga for them to adapt in this situation. This is from the manuscript that Toriyama gives them, and then Toyotaro gets a piece of it, and then Toei gets a piece of it, or Toei gives to Toyotaro. I'm not exactly sure uh, what order that goes in, but... Toriyama gives them manuscripts and bullet points and then and essentially the basic outline of the story he doesn't give them like move for move choreography in, in a sense uh, or dialogue whereas King Ryu's job is to basically take Toriyama's ideas and put everything together that's what this is he is the composer which is what the Japanese I guess would call the showrunner uh, it's just like with Game of Thrones, you know, George R. R. Martin wrote the books, he's a creative consultant, he sends the creators of the show bullet points, but he's not actually directing or writing the show, he's just giving them the essential, I guess you could say the root, and they're taking it and expounding upon it, um, now is King Ryu in talks, in other words, is King Ryu like, constantly talking to Toriyama based upon the history of Toriyama and the history of Toei I'm gonna say no to that he's probably not talking to Toriyama on a day-to-day -day basis but I would guess based on again research I've done into Toriyama and into Toei he does call Toriyama if he needs advice or has a question about a certain character uh, but he's the head guy right now, okay? As far as the anime goes, Toriyama's writing the story, but he's the showrunner. That's what this means. It has nothing to do with music. So those of you who are fans of Sumitomo, don't even worry about it. He's not going anywhere. As far as we know, there's no news about him leaving, so don't even worry about it. And there you see Universe 6 versus Universe 7. I love it. Anyways... This afternoon, I got my interview with Unreal ENT Gaming dropping at 4. I hope to see you guys back for that one. And uh, thank you for watching the video. Spread this video out to anybody who might be confused about this. I know we're going to have some people thinking, oh my gosh, Sumitomo's gone. No, it's just a different, it's a slight shift in the creative direction. Obviously, now with the Shampa arc, this is new material. This is not adapted from a movie, so they really have no original source to base it on with the exception of Toriyama's manuscript which is you know the first time we've seen anything like this in a while since the 2008 Yo Sun Goku special and before that GT because prior to GT there was always the, Toyo the, the Toriyama manga whereas this time there is no Toriyama manga it's Toyotaro doing it and Toriyama is essentially just writing it and drawing the characters he's not actually doing panel for panel anyways guys thanks for watching the video and i'll talk to y'all later